I'm not a welder by any means, but I've owned a lot of aluminum bikes and looking at the, the welding on this, I know that it could have done better. It looks like an okay job. Um, and as you can see here, there's some shavings stuck to uh, some sticky, I guess, tape residue, uh, which didn't look too professional. I bought a trailer hitch for the convenience of carrying this cart. This cart is big, uh, with especially with the wheels. And I plan on going to the beach frequently uh, with the family, by myself. Um, and I thought that uh, it would make sense to have this. And in this video, I'm not going to install it. I'll probably do that on my first or second trip. And again, here, looking at the welding, I'm checking the welding because it just didn't seem like... Uh, a very good job but you know like I said I don't know anything about welding I'm only basing it on you know, what I've seen on bikes but it looks it seemed sturdy when I pulled on it I checked out the handle and it does spin. I don't think it's an issue, but uh, something that I noted. I was glad to see a manual because I've never assembled a, a cart like this before and everything usually that I buy comes with assembly instructions. Um, fortunately when I opened up the manual I saw that it was only for the wheel, warning about the size, the maximum size diameter of the wheels. I did not find uh, the instruction manual so I guess they assume that people just know how to assemble this without any guidance. But I did reference the picture on their website to, to assemble it. I made one or two mistakes along the way and that's it. One thing I noted was the big scratch on the, the base of the cart. Uh, it's one of those things that's really minor. Um, functionally, I don't think it's going to be an issue, 
but for something that I paid over a thousand dollars I expect it to be in a better shape overall not just the base but everything else that I saw I'm making a note to mount the rod rack now uh, as you're installing the rear posts because I made a mistake of not installing it at this time and I had to go back, remove the bolt, install the rod rack and put the bolt back on. Now I had the manual, I think I would not have made that mistake but unfortunately it didn't come with the manual so. Purposely didn't tighten everything up uh, because I wanted to wait till I went outside, moved it around, and then make sure everything was in place before I tightened up everything.
so the package contained a hex driver but I found out that the 5mm hex driver it came with does not fit anything. Uh, the bolts that you see here are 5.5mm so I had a bunch of 5mm and 6mm hex drivers but not 5.5 so I had to order that one online so if you don't have one place an order so that you can actually use it to secure those bolts for the wheelbase. So this is where I realized that I should have installed the uh, rod rack while I was mounting the posts. So what I had to do was remove the bolts and reinsert the bolts along with the rod rack to make it work. So again, I found out this the hard way but I ordered an extra rod rack so I could have one in the front and in the back. In the back or in the front, I would carry the uh, chairs, beach chairs, and the other one would be used to carry the rods. Uh, but I found out that when it's installed in the front of the, the wagon, it will get in the way when you're steering because uh, the wheels are big and it'll catch on to the, to the rod holder. So as you can see here, I'm using the cardboard box to determine whether uh, the wheels are pumped up enough or overinflated. Um, but it's tough to use. I mean, it's a cardboard box, and you know, I just kind of gauged it with my hand, and I made sure that it was still very uh, roomy. Uh, because right now, I'm not taking to the beach, and I'd rather have it flatter than um, overinflated, just in case.
So here's what happens when you install the rod rack in the front of the plank. As you can see, when you try to turn, it rubs against the, the tires. So the extra rod rack that I got, I have no idea what to do with it because in the rear it comes with one and I bought an extra one so that I could have eight rod holders, but right now it's not gonna work this way.